We always knew that Jerusalem was a powerful and flourishing city during the Iron Age, time of the First Temple period. But when we came here to dig in the city of David, no one imagined that these are the kind of items we're going to find while excavating here. The new discovery found here in the city of David is a corpus of thousands of tiny small pieces of ivory plates. Only after assembling them together and restoring them in the lab, we could have understand what were we dealing with. Plates that were decorating large furniture, maybe uh, beds or doors. The excavation here in the city of David is a crop project conducted by the Israel Antiquity Authority and Tel Aviv University. This structure was probably belonged to one of the elite people of Jerusalem, maybe one of the priests or minister or maybe even a member of the royal family. It was destroyed in huge fire, most probably during the destruction of Jerusalem by the Babylonian in 586 BCE. The manufacturing process was very complicated and required very skillful craftsmen. That's why we believe that the plaques or the objects they were on were imported to Judah. The rosette was a symbol of the Assyrian king. We can see it on his clothes and architecture. It penetrated Judah at the end of the first temple period. And we can see it as well in stamp jar handles found in Judah of that time. This task belonged to an African elephant. They were brought from Africa to Assyria. There the items were produced. Here they came as precious items, as presents between government officials. Ivory items are very rare in archaeological context. Only few of those were found all over the world, and even fewer were found in scientific excavations. These are the first such items to be found here in Jerusalem. 